In lots of cities worldwide, there are different rules and ideas about what's allowed in businesses. Inspectors often check to ensure everything's okay. These inspectors make sure businesses follow the rules. But what happens if they go too far? In Jacksonville, Florida, the code inspector got in trouble for telling a store to take down its military flags. At first, she was nice, but things got worse. Melinda Power, a code inspector, was doing her job at Jaguar Power Sports. She was told to make the store remove its flags. The flags represented different parts of the U.S. military, along with American and Jacksonville Jaguars flags. The store had been putting up these flags for a long time, without any problems. But when Melinda Power and her boss showed up, things changed. Usually, when inspectors find a problem, they tell the store to fix it or face consequences. Melinda saw the flags outside and went in to talk to the store manager, Marcy. When Marcy heard Melinda was an inspector and there was a problem, she was surprised. She didn't think there was anything wrong because the store had passed inspections before. But when Melinda told her about the issue, Marcy was shocked. Marcy was upset because the store supports military members, both past and present. She knew many of her customers were veterans, and she wanted to show them support by flying the flags. She felt it was personal because of this. Melinda was very clear and repeated the violation. This time, a customer overheard. However, it wasn't just any customer. The customer was a military veteran. As you might expect, he was upset about the warning to the store. The confrontation soon unfolded, which was caught on surveillance video. The customer had been a loyal shopper at the store for many years and always appreciated the support offered by flying the flags. He approached Melinda and told her that he had done a lot for the country and really appreciated the flags. He did not see why there would be any problem with Jaguar Sports flying the flags. Melinda's next words shocked him. You did nothing for this country, she said, as if in disbelief that the man was possibly telling the truth. She continued to badger him, asking what specifically he had done. The man, as caught on videotape, could not believe that there was a question about whether he was lying about being a veteran. On video, he looks positively wounded by the accusation. I took three bullets to the leg. I almost lost my life for this country. I'm retired. I'm a veteran, he told Melinda. The video makes it even more shocking. The city inspector gets right in his face and repeats that he did nothing for the country. The city inspector and the veteran did not know each other previously, so they had no reason to be this upset. Employees said power was so disruptive and disrespectful to the veteran that outrage ensued. It wasn't long before there was a screaming match inside the store. The city inspector eventually left, but that was not the end of the situation. Inside the store, so many people had witnessed the event that news spread fast. On top of that, there was a viral video showing exactly how disrespectful Melinda Power had been. Because she worked for the city, City Hall was inundated with calls about this incident. City Hall said that 50 calls taken in the first hour of business the next day were about this, and most wanted the inspector fired. They thought it was a completely overwhelming citation, but had no idea how fast the news would travel. They also did not know it would become more than just a Jacksonville issue. Across the country, there were many stores that flew the military branch's flags, if one store was made to take them down, would that become the norm for all stores in the city and county? Military veterans fumed in front of TV cameras outside Jaguar Power Sports. They had come from all across the city, and they were angry that one of their own had been disrespected. They had always appreciated the store's support, and this was a shock, and a terrible one at that. Many of the veterans spoke their minds to the reporters, saying that the inspector's actions were insulting and out of line, particularly when those who served in the armed forces had given so much to their country. The veterans said that they were not aware of any rules about the stores across the city being unable to fly the military flags. They thought the inspector should be fired. When the news broke that a supervisor had been the one to ask her to do it, the chain of outrage continued. Many thought that Melinda's supervisor should be fired as well. If Melinda had not been caught on video being so disrespectful to veterans, she might have been able to escape without much consequence. However, because of the video, many people thought she was just as much at fault as her supervisor. The next day, City Hall made an announcement. Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry on Tuesday morning said Power and her supervisor had been placed on leave pending the outcome of a review. 
This was not enough for some people, though. They did not think being placed on leave was good enough, especially if the review found them not at fault. There was evidence of the order the supervisor had given to Melinda and evidence of Melinda being incredibly disrespectful. The mayor seemed to agree with them. What I saw reported is 100% inconsistent with how I expect every city employee to interact with our citizens, Curry said. He spoke directly to the veterans watching on TV, sharing a personal connection as the son and grandson of military veterans and as the mayor of a city with a proud history of commitment to our nation's defense. I will not accept any disrespect towards the men and women who have served or are serving our country, he said. On behalf of the city of Jacksonville, I apologize to veterans and service members who are rightly troubled by the events that have been reported. Many were aware of the city's strict employment rules, making it difficult to be fired from city jobs. This made city employment sought after. The decision to place Melinda and her supervisor on leave instead of firing them outright seemed to reflect these rules. The mayor discussed these rulings further during his press conference. Curry also clarified that the current ordinance does not address the display of military flags by residents or businesses. However, he made it clear that he will not allow any punishment for those who show support for the armed forces. My team is collaborating with the city's Office of General Counsel to clarify relevant city laws, he stated. The story continued as TV reporters reached out to the veteran who had argued with Melinda in the store. He came forward after the press conference. The customer expressed his satisfaction with the mayor's response, emphasizing that he wished for Melinda to apologize to the veteran community, not necessarily to him. He also stated that he didn't want anyone to lose their job, showing remarkable compassion towards someone who had been disrespectful to him. Back at Jaguar Sports, the news stations were trying to get all angles on the story. Eventually, they managed to contact the store manager, who had a heart of gold. Marcy told the station she didn't want to see power fired. I know that our customer base would love to see me say fire her, but I hate to see anybody lose their job. That was not the purpose of this. It was to bring awareness and hope that someone would not treat someone else that way. It seemed like Jaguar Sports had flown the flags for the right reasons. They were respectful and kind to those who had given their time and lives to fight for the country. And they wanted everyone to be seen as equal. They were forgiving even when it seemed they should not be. But not everyone remembered what happened in the same way. Melinda Power, in a Facebook post that has since been deleted, said she remembered the incident differently. She claimed that the customer asked her, Do you know what I did? And she replied, Nothing. She pretended for a while that she didn't understand the situation. This might have worked if there wasn't a video recording of the incident for everyone to see. Later, Melinda reportedly admitted on Facebook that she shouldn't have been unprofessional and disrespectful. She apologized sincerely. She also mentioned that her father, husband, and son-in-law all serve in the military. Many people found this reaction strange given her behavior and questioned its sincerity. Thanks to the kindness of those she offended, the situation was resolved. However, some people believe it shouldn't have ended the way it did. It showed that the veteran and Jaguar sports stood by their morals and values, even though they had every right not to. That, do you know of a situation where a business or person showed kindness, even though they didn't have to? We'd love to hear about it. Please let us know in the comment section. Thank you.